Coming up on Retiring Well. And we are on location with Gary Mott of G Mott Builders. And that's a lot like financial planning and retirement planning. And when I think of your industry and our industry of financial planning, they really have a lot in common. Most people coming to us, they're saying, you know, I just want to know I have enough money. And that, that makes me sort of think when we're looking at retirement planning and maybe that growth portion of the portfolio, a lot of times when we look at that, we may want more of maybe an active management style. John Torbett here with Retiring Well, and we are on location with Gary Mott of G Mott Builders. Uh, believe it or not, Gary and I have been friends here for almost, what, 25 years, right, Gary? And so we're going to be talking today about not just building a house, but then talking about your fiscal house. So, Gary, I've known you. You've been mechanically inclined all, all these years. So what really inspired you to get into building? Uh, you know, I started working for my dad when I was young and uh, that transitioned into wanting to achieve the next level and just keep, continue to grow. Uh, eventually got me to the point where I'm building houses and garages and everything in between. Perfect. So you, you've been building here in the Traverse City area for how many years now? I started my company in 2003, so it's been 15 years. Oh, that's great. And so, yeah, so Gary's been do working on this project here, a garage that we're going to be walking through with you today and then trying to tie that back into ultimately your retirement planning and understanding what building a house and retirement planning have to do uh, going, going together. So Gary, tell us a little bit more about what you've got going here. So this is, we got obviously a couple stories going. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what is this going to end up being here? Yep, this is going to be a garage. So uh, we start at the bottom, we work our way up. We've got two stories here. It's 1,200 square feet on each level. So we've got 2,400 square feet total. It's my personal garage, uh, okay. and it end, ends up being bigger than my house. Oh, that's perfect. I'm okay with I'm sure your wife appreciates that too. She does. Well, good. All right, well, stay tuned. We're gonna be talking more about what we've got coming up here on Retiring Well. Today's retirement challenges can be mastered. Knowledge is power because you can confidently plan ahead and make educated financial decisions for a successful and comfortable retirement. We are Centennial Wealth Advisory, Northern Michigan's financial advisors specializing in retirement planning with offices in Traverse City, Petoskey, and Gaylord. And we invite you to an informative and exciting live event with a complimentary gourmet dinner. You'll learn highlights of the new Tax Reform Act, the difference between fiduciary and suitability standard of care, how an IRA gets taxed to a surviving spouse, how two similar portfolios can end up with two drastically different results, what a bull market is and how long it can last, and much more. Call 888-608-5825 to register and choose the date and location that works best for you. Tuesday, January 15th at Big Buck Brewery in Gaylord. Wednesday, January 16th at Boone's Long Lake Inn in Traverse City or Wednesday, January 23rd at Cadillac Grill at the El Dorado Golf Course in Cadillac. The live event starts at 6 p.m. and is free to attend with a complimentary gourmet dinner to follow. But seating is limited and fills quickly. Call 888-608-5825 to reserve your seats today. There is no cost and no obligation. Don't miss this important live event. Educated financial decisions. Call 888-608-5825. 5825 today. I'm Gary Mott with GMOT Builders. I uh, just want to do a quick update on myself. I've been in the business now for about 20 years. I started working for my father when I was 15. Uh, we were in the floor covering trades. From there, it just progressed for me. I started into trim. I started into rough carpentry. I really loved it and I wanted to build houses. And so I took that next step and just started building houses. You might be asking, why would I want to use GMOT Builders? Well, I believe that with any project you get three legs of a triangle and you can have the best of two, service, quality, and cost being the three legs. I like to provide the best of all three if possible. So we offer great service, great quality, and at the best cost that we can. If you'd like to talk about designing your forever home, please give us a call, 231-649-1838.
Thank you. Retiring Well is now also airing on radio, bringing you insights from Northern Michigan's financial advisors specializing in retirement planning. Every Sunday at noon on WTCM AM 580. Don't miss Retiring Well Radio. Every Sunday at noon on WTCM AM 580. Welcome back to Retiring Well here. We're continuing on site here with GMOT Builders and Gary Mott. And here we're, in, we're inside now of the project and we're gonna be talking about foundations and basements and stuff like that. So Gary, in this project here, tell us a little bit about, you, about what you have, basement, foundation, and stuff like that. Yeah, Art, so here on this project, um, we've got, in construction we build everything in layers. So we start at our base layer and we just work our way up. So here what we've done, we've excavated down to two feet below grade, we've installed a a concrete footing that's continuous all the way around, 16 inches by 10 inches thick, and it's got rebar in it, and that provides underground strength that anchors us to the ground. Uh, it's very important that we do that, and we can't just set blocks on dirt. We have to set them on something really solid, so it gives us something solid to set them on. On top of that, I've got eight inch concrete blocks. We have four courses of eight inch concrete blocks to get us 32 inches ab uh, above our footing. And that leaves me eight to 12 inches outside, so we've got protection from snow, rain, outside elements. It also provides me uh, a kick out here inside where water and, and anything from our vehicles won't penetrate into a wood wall. It really stays protected inside and outside. It also gives me a really solid foundation that I can set my walls on top of. Uh, in, inside of that, we've got compacted sand, uh, we've got woven wire mesh, inside our concrete, provides really good strong strength. Um, we've got rebar where necessary where we might have a supporting wall coming down. So anywhere we've got loads coming from the top, we've got it fully supported underneath. Okay, what's well, interesting you talk about, I heard you said layering, you kind of build things in layers. And that's a lot like financial planning and retirement planning. And when I think of your industry and our industry of financial planning, they really have a lot in common even though they're way two different things. You know, with retirement planning, I think of building things in layer and having that strong foundation. When you're putting investments together, having something you can count on and keeping those, those elements out in a way and having something to layer and build stuff upon is really important and having those financial tools in place. You know, you had also said, um, you know, when not having, if you didn't start with that layer, you potentially, um, you can't just set that, that wall on the, the ground, right? What would happen if you didn't have this big foundation and didn't have that cement blocks and you just started building your house or garage? Uh, yeah, so it, it, could, it could cause major problems. If we didn't have a footing and a foundation wall to start on uh, and we just set boards on the ground, the first big wind that comes by could blow the thing over. Uh, and if it wasn't that, then it could be moisture and wetness infiltrating the wood products and causing failure that way. So it's important that we, we have something really, really strong in the ground. Okay, and once again, going back to financial planning, I think of having those investments that are strong and supportive to start with and then building upon that as you go along. There's different types of products out there available today that have evolved and allow us to have that safety and that strength that we can count on over time to do that. You know, speaking of involving, Larry, I know your trade has evolved and, you know, everything from the tools you guys use to the products that you use and the lumber and all that. But speaking specifically to foundations, I think of my grandmother's house that was built in the early, you know, late 1800s, early 1900s. They had the old field stone, you know, walls and stuff like that. And, you know, over the years and just a few years ago, as I was down there when they were selling the house, how it was crumbling away. You know, foundations aren't something you replace typically, right? Right. Yeah, the foundation we want to last as long as possible. So we use the best product that gives us the best value. In my case, uh, for myself building this as a self-build, it was important that I had something I could work with. In this case, it was concrete blocks. It could be poured concrete walls. Uh, that's another viable option. Um, so in that case, we use forms, we pour concrete into the forms, and we strip the forms afterwards. It takes a little less time, and we have a little more prep work. Um, but for me, the concrete block was sufficient enough. It was strong enough, and I expect it to last 100 plus years. Old rubble foundations, like you're speaking of, uh, those did have a lifespan. And at some point, the mortar that's holding everything together, if it's not maintained, will start to fail. 
Um, so it's important that we use a product that we believe is going to last as long as possible. Gotcha. And that's really important too. You know, thinking of the investment and retirement planning world, having something that's maintained. We can't just throw together a project or a plan and expect that it's just going to last forever. It has to be that ongoing maintenance to keep that if there. Even though we're putting together a really strong foundation that you're hoping lasts your lifetime, right? That we still have to keep revisiting that and revisiting that. As you've built this for your family and you guys to enjoy for years, what would you expect the life expectancy of this to be? Uh, I expect this building to last 100 years or more. Okay. Now, I don't expect to be here in 100 years, and I don't even expect my kids to be here in 100 years, but I would like for the next person down the line to be able to count on it, to have a building they can count on for a long, long time. Now, would you say, when in the building trait that is, would you say the foundation is, might be the most important thing? I would, yes. Okay, because without that, you really can't go up. You could, but it could potentially lead to disaster, right? Right. Okay, and a lot like the investment world, as I can't stress enough, when we look back and we say, what's the, where do we need to focus on? Having that strong foundation is something that you have to have in your retirement plan. If you'd like a review of your retirement foundation, give us a call, the number on the screen. We'd love to give you a second opinion and help you build that retirement foundation. Today's retirement challenges can be mastered. Knowledge is power because you can confidently plan ahead and make educated financial decisions for a successful and comfortable retirement. We are Centennial Wealth Advisory, Northern Michigan's financial advisors specializing in retirement planning with offices in Traverse City, Petoskey, and Gaylord. And we invite you to an informative and exciting live event with a complimentary gourmet dinner. You'll learn highlights of the new Tax Reform Act, the difference between fiduciary and suitability standard of care, how an IRA gets taxed to a surviving spouse, how two similar portfolios can end up with two drastically different results, what a bull market is and how long it can last, and much more. Call 888-608-5825 to register and choose the date and location that works best for you. Tuesday, January 15th at Big Buck Brewery in Gaylord, Wednesday, January 16th at Boone's Long Lake Inn in Traverse City, or Wednesday, January 23rd at Cadillac Grill at the El Dorado Golf Course in Cadillac. The live event starts at 6 p.m. and is free to attend with a complimentary gourmet dinner to follow, but seating is limited and fills quickly. Call 888-608-5825 to reserve your seats today. There is no cost and no obligation. Don't miss this important live event. Educated financial decisions. Call 888-608-5825. 5825 today. Retiring Well is now also airing on radio, bringing you insights from Northern Michigan's financial advisors specializing in retirement planning. Every Sunday at noon on WTCM AM 580. Don't miss Retiring Well Radio every Sunday at noon on WTCM AM 580. Hi, welcome back to the Retiring Well TV show. I'm here with Gary Mott of GMOT Builders, and my name is Larry Flynn. Gary, now I know you just sat with Art and talked about the foundation and how important that is. And, and, and like you said, it's, nothing happens without the foundation, right? Right. But then what I want to now talk about is, what about now the outside of the house, right? This is, uh, this is our windows, our doors, our siding. Um, wouldn't you agree that this is kind of what differentiates most houses. I mean, it's what the exterior looks like, right? Right. Yeah, we need a way uh, on, our, on our home construction, we need a way to carry doors and windows and, and a way to place siding against the outside. Uh, we achieve that through a wall structure. Now, our wall structures can come in a variety of ways. Uh, the most common being a two by four stud walls, which is what we have here. We have two by four stud walls. It's sheathed with exterior sheathing that provides strength forces vertically and laterally. Uh, and then we can hang our doors and windows inside of those. We can hang our siding on that. Um, so it's a very common, very typical way to build. Okay, aesthetically though, once you get to the, I know you got that, that stuff that's behind the scenes, but aesthetically, there's a lot of decisions that go into the outside, right? Like what, what color is the siding, what kind of siding, what, what kind of windows, right? Yeah, yeah, I've heard it said that there's uh, 40,000 decisions that need to be made during a home construction project. Wow. Uh, everything from which foundation to use, which we talked about, to which wall system to use and what color to paint the wall system and drywall and 
fixtures, there's so many decisions that go into it. Right. So doors and windows, in my opinion, are very, very important. Those are the items which will keep the elements out, they'll keep the negative things out, and keep the inside comfortable and healthy. Right. Well, Gary, this is not much different than retirement planning. We, we kind of had the same thing. No one plan is the same. You know, we'd love to have just a cookie cutter plan and say, okay, one size fits all, right? But everybody's different. Um, not only are they different in their likes and tastes, but, um, you know, what they need is different, you know? So, you know, some people want to enjoy a greater lifestyle than others. You know, they, they enjoy maybe a higher standard of living. Um, some are much more frugal and, you know, they don't need all the bells and whistles and that. But, but that's what differentiates every plan. So in retirement planning, what we're trying to do is get to the customer and say, okay, what is your needs, your wants? What is it you want in your retirement income plan? Let's start with that. And then all the pieces, you talk about the number of decisions that have to go into a house, you should see the number of decisions we have to deal with going into a retirement income plan. Um, again, you know, how much income do you want? What, you know, and hopefully when we do the plan, We'll be able to tell them, yeah, one, you can enjoy that plan, and two, hey, here's a whole lot of other things, decisions we can make with maybe your plan that may, may give you more fulfillment and joy in your retirement plan. Mm -hmm. Now, you built, um, uh, just for, uh, uh, to let our audience know, you built my house. And I know you worked very closely, closely with my wife. She made a, a lot of decisions. And what I always liked is you always took it from a vantage point of first asking her what she wanted. Right? Is that, would you say that's pretty fair when you're working with somebody on a house? Absolutely. When we're doing new construction, um, my goal is to give the customer what they want. Now, what they want and what the house needs or the way that I can build it may not always line up right, but we do the best we can to get to that point. Um, so for instance, in this building, I needed space. I wanted lots of space uh, so we can park cars and we can have a workshop. In order to do that, I had to make some sacrifices in other areas. Um, so I did not choose the best window that I could put in here because I needed to spend that money on the space. Mm -hmm. So I've chosen a window that's still good, it's still energy efficient. Um, it's got a low E coating, so it'll keep out the, the harmful rays of the sun, but it's a good quality window. It gives me the best value that I need. I will make that same selection when it comes to my exterior doors and my garage doors. Mm -hmm. I will make a selection that gives me the best value so I can maximize my, my money. Now, when it comes to the siding, the exterior, the, the visual effects, uh, I, I'm pretty particular on that. I, design is very important to me. It must, it must look right. Mm -hmm. So we've chosen a product made by Louisiana Pacific. It's called LP Smart Side. It's a wood base with a cedar siding stamp on the face. It gets painted, um, so it's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then we'll do some natural cedar accents here and there just to dress it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we've kind of taken, we got our bones really good, our doors and windows and our wall systems, and then we've had some fun with the finishes and the exterior work. Yeah, I appreciate that because, you know, here's the other thing that you bring great value in when somebody's trying to build a house. As a, as a homeowner, we don't know what we don't know. You know the trade. So we might have an idea of kind of what we want or what direction we might want to go in, but we really need that expertise to say, especially when you get into the quality of some of the, the study. I mean, something might look real good, but if it's not fundamentally sound or is going to not keep those elements out, we don't want it, right? Right. So, in retirement planning, we have the same thing. You know, most people coming to us, they're saying, you know, I just want to know I have enough money. You know, make sure that this money will outlive me, right? <laughs> you know, some people will say, well, I just want to write them, I want to bounce, bounce a check to the funeral home. But most people recognize that they don't know when that day is going to be, that they want to have sufficient amount of savings. Now, they may know what they want, what they need, and what that may look like, but how to put that together, all the fundamental things that have to go into making that happen, not much different than what you're dealing with when somebody says aesthetically, this is what I want my house to look like, right? Yeah, exactly. Typically, we're just given a picture or a plan to start with, and all the minutia, the details leading up to that, uh, I need to guide the customer through that and give them the best options available to maximize their final product. Sounds very similar to what you're doing. Right. Now, when a customer says, this is what I want, have you ever had a situation where you've had to have, well, you know, I, I see where you're going, I know what you want, but let me give you some other ideas 
right? And some other things you may want to think about. Do you find yourself doing that a lot? Yeah, that comes up often. Um, a lot of times folks have in their mind that they want to use a certain product and I may have experience with it and that experience is maybe not so good. And so I'll, you know, I'll try to steer a customer away from that or at least let them know there's other products available that can achieve the same result at a better value. All right. Well, thanks, uh, Gary. I appreciate it. Now, Gary, just for our viewers' sake, I, I can't tell you how many people I've talked to today in this real estate environment saying, I can't find a builder. I can't find anybody. I know, I know you're busy, but are, are you turning work away yet? Uh, we're not turning any work <laughs> away yet. All right. Would you mind then if we, we put maybe your contact information, if anybody is looking for a builder out there, they might be able to give you a call? Yes, please. Then. Okay. Well, you'll find that on the screen. Um, thanks again for joining us. We're going to have John come up next, and he's going to be talking with you about the roof and how important that is. How about that? Sounds great. All right. Thank you. Today's retirement challenges can be mastered. Knowledge is power because you can confidently plan ahead and make educated financial decisions for a successful and comfortable retirement. We are Centennial Wealth Advisory, Northern Michigan's financial advisors specializing in retirement planning with offices in Traverse City, Petoskey, and Gaylord. And we invite you to an informative and exciting live event with a complimentary gourmet dinner. You'll learn highlights of the new Tax Reform Act, the difference between fiduciary and suitability standard of care, how an IRA gets taxed to a surviving spouse, how two similar portfolios can end up with two drastically different results, what a bull market is and how long it can last, and much more. Call 888-608-5825 to register and choose the date and location that works best for you. Tuesday, January 15th at Big Buck Brewery in Gaylord. Wednesday, January 16th at Boone's Long Lake Inn in Traverse City or Wednesday, January 23rd at Cadillac Grill at the El Dorado Golf Course in Cadillac. The live event starts at 6 p.m. and is free to attend with a complimentary gourmet dinner to follow, but seating is limited and fills quickly. Call 888-608-5825 to reserve your seats today. There is no cost and no obligation. Don't miss this important live event. Educated financial decisions. Call 888-608-5825. 5825 today. I'm Gary Mott with GMOT Builders. I uh, just want to do a quick update on myself. I've been in the business now for about 20 years. I started working for my father when I was 15. Uh, we were in the floor covering trades. From there, it just progressed for me. I started into trim. I started into rough carpentry. I really loved it and I wanted to build houses. And so I took that next step and just started building houses. You might be asking, why would I want to use GMOT Builders? Well, I believe that with any project you get three legs of a triangle and you can have the best of two, service, quality, and cost being the three legs. I like to provide the best of all three if possible. So we offer great service, great quality, and at the best cost that we can. If you'd like to talk about designing your forever home, please give us a call, 231-649-1838. Thank you. Welcome back to Retiring Well. John Torbett here with Gary Mott of GMOT Builders. And, and we've been walking through Gary's house and this big project that he's taken on here of his own personal project. And so we're learning a lot about that and how that ties back into your fiscal house in, in regards to retirement planning. So here we are, Gary. We finally made our way upstairs. We're, we we're going to be talking about the roof. And all of a sudden I look up and, and Gary, is this an open air concept here in northern Michigan or what do we have going on? Yeah, I don't know if this will fly for very long. We've, we've got to get this covered in before we get some snow falling. But yeah, so this is our roof system. Um, we've got as much importance as the foundation is. I feel the roof has just as much importance. If we don't protect this really well and do everything right, we have the, uh, the possibility for water infiltration. So it's very important that we that we do it right. now. What we've got here is a truss system. These trusses are designed to carry the load of snow and, and, the, and the roof that we put up upon it. And that'll, that'll transfer all the weight down in the walls and ultimately down to the foundation. Okay. So. And so, yeah, so that's what I was, I was looking up to see. And I also noticed as you're working on this project, I mean, there's a number of different support pieces going across as well as here 
Um, what what, are, what do we have going on there right now? Yeah, a lot of times in construction, we end up doing stuff temporarily. So in this instance, we've got a few temporary braces. These braces were put up before the trusses went in place in order to, to maintain the straightness of the exterior walls, to hold, really to hold those in place. If I hadn't done that and I had placed trusses upon it, there's a possibility those could have pushed out or just not been straight. Sure. So it's important that we temporarily brace things in order to achieve a good final product. Sure. Um, eventually those will come down. Yeah, and I mean that, that makes me sort of think when we're looking at retirement planning and maybe that growth portion of the portfolio, a lot of times when we look at that, we may want more of maybe an active management style, meaning we may not just want to buy and hold these certain stocks and hold them forever more. Maybe it's something we want to hold for a certain period of time, but we need to make adjustments as time moves along. And, and so that's something that I think of in, in retirement planning, especially is that not everything's permanent, right? Just like you're talking about with this, but obviously the roof, I mean, how long do you want this roof to last? Well, we, we're, we're kind of held to the constraints of current products. So we expect a, shing, a natural shingle roof to last us approximately 30 years. After 30 years, we should start thinking about replacing it. Now, I expect the structure to remain longer than that. So I may have to replace my roof two or three times. Uh, sure. But that's something that we're willing to do to maintain a healthy structure. Sure. So it's something that, uh, just like in retirement planning, where you don't necessarily um, have that for, for your whole entire lifetime, but it's something that, you know, you may have a good plan set in place, but you may need to make adjustments as time moves along. And that's where I think of not just with your, your investment structure, but also with your income plan. When you're looking, especially in retirement planning, that there's going to be adjustments. And like I think of, as we're talking about the roof line and, and these outside elements coming in, that's where inflation may come into play. And you may have an income today that works well for you, but what does that income look like 10, 20, maybe 30 years down the road and, and how important that might be. So, you know, making sure that you have a good plan for your income, your investments, diversification is going to be key to that, but then also understanding sort of what taxes, those that's another outside element that you want to be paying close attention to in retirement planning, as well as then, oh, we can get into estate planning and wills and trusts and how all those play play a role in, in a cohesive plan. So Gary, before we wrap up here, any, any last thoughts in regards to this structure that you've been working on? Yeah, you know, I put a lot of thought into it. It's important to me that I do the best work that I can uh, and that I choose the best products that I can. If you're thinking about a building project, it's, it, I can't stress enough to spend as much money as possible on the, the structure, the core items, things that you won't change for a long, long time. Yeah, and, ju and just like Gary, who's an independent builder here in Traverse City, uh, myself, Larry Flynn, Art Canfield are all owners of Centennial Wealth Advisory, and we're all born and raised in this area as well. And, and we find it's very important uh, to, be, to be working with someone that's local and that's gonna be here for a long time, just like this house is gonna be here for a long time. Gary, Gary will be continuing work on this, uh, just like we like to continue working on, on your retirement planning and making sure that we cover all of those different areas of retirement planning. And so if there's certain areas that we've been talking about today that caught, it caught your interest, we'd love to sit down and just have a conversation with you. Uh, whether that comes into talking about your income planning, investments, taxes, maybe into estate planning, or if it gets into insurance planning and, and what role life insurance and long-term care plays. Uh, so there's a number of different areas that, that you wanna be paying attention to, and you, you don't wanna be second-guessing yourself. I think that's, that's gonna be important, uh, just to be paying very close attention and, and making sure that all those different outside elements, just like we've been talking through today, are, are part of um, what we do in protecting you with your retirement planning. So we look forward to potentially sitting down with you. Feel free to call the number on the screen. We'd love the opportunity to sit down and talk a bit more. Thank you.